But Nurkic has got to look to score against the smaller Pope in the post. They didn't even bring a double team. Anthony Davis steps back and hits the jumper. Hassan Whiteside and Yusef Nurkic did start the game together. And they start the third quarter together as well. McCollum, nice feet inside. Nurkic. Whiteside right there for the foul. Guarding his buddy LeBron James. The two very close friends taken in the same draft a long, long, long time ago as McCollum comes the other way. Back in 2003. Anthony was the third pick of that draft. James, of course, the first. Nurkic with the flush with some contact there as well. If you think about the three possessions for the Lakers so far, it's been a LeBron James jump shot and two Anthony Davis jump shots. You live with that if you're the Portland Trailblazers. You're willing to give that up. Davis. Caldwell Pope steps behind and gets that three-pointer to go. His first three. Then had that big game two when he had four of six from downtown. Lillard playing with that splint on his left index finger. Lillard had a terrific first half, shooting the ball well. James steps back, another three. 28 points now for LeBron James, and the game is tied. He has just turned it up another notch. Again, you have to be willing to give up something to greatness. That's just a big time play by LeBron. He's 9 of 11 from the field. Nurkic blocked by McGee. James Caldwell Polk gets set. Corner three misses. Fight for the rebound. White side. Outlet to McCollum just able to save it. McCollum steps up for three. James. Down the lane, kicks it back out. Good ball movement. Caldwell Pope gets another good look and nails the three, and the Lakers regain the lead. Their first lead since the opening minutes. Playing with much more energy than Portland to start the half. Just the opposite of the first half. McCullum trying to save it. And the ball goes out of bounds. Eighth turnover for Portland. Again, James just pushes. Good extra pass by Davis. Caldwell Pope with his second three of the third quarter. And a foul on the three-point attempt by Carmelo Anthony. That's four on Anthony. Talking to Jim Capers. And clearly contact. LeBron James attempts a three-point shot. A challenge. So we'll take a timeout. Lakers.
necessary. It's for James. 11 and a half assists per game. Getting it done in the playoffs. It's home. But tonight he's come out with the mindset to be a scorer. Especially in this second half. Team struggling. Knocks down the jump. And suddenly he's going. Put the ball deck. It depends on his heels. So step back three. As a defender, you say, uh oh. But you look in his eyes. What LeBron is saying with that look is there comes a point in time. You got to send the kids upstairs. It is grown folks' time. Only 10 points in game two. Had more turnovers. Two more turnovers and field goals in that lopsided Laker win. That is one of the impressive parts about the Laker victory. He did not play particularly well, yet they blew out the Blazers. But he's got now 29 points in 21 minutes, and he's missed five free throws and still has 29 points. Three free throws on that foul by Carmelo Anthony. Anthony staying in the game with the four personals. Terry Stotts doesn't have a lot of options. And so many players out right now. Front court, Zach Collins, Trevor Ariza. James hits all three of the free throws this time. He's got a 31-point game. And we still have eight and a half remaining here in the third quarter. By the way, that was not challenged. Terry Stotts decided not to as Carmelo Anthony knocks down the jumper. They let that play stand, so Anthony stays out there with the four fouls. James in attack mode all night. Davis, McGee, flips it up and in. Nice pass from Anthony Davis. Anthony Davis has seven assists in the game. Only eight points, but he has found his teammates. He wants to take call while Pope James coming to help. Shoots over the double team. Back-to-back -back jumpers for Carmelo Anthony. Quickly down the other end, Danny Green misses with the left hand. And Nurkic is fouled by JaVale McGee. First foul on McGee. Coach, you see a little two-man game with Melo and, and Dame, and the Lakers choosing to switch it. You can overreact as a coach and say, well, we're getting hurt with that. That's good defense. That's just a tough shot. Yeah, those mid-range twos right there are not going to be the ones that beat you. That's three mid-range twos in a row for Carmelo Anthony. Nine points already here in the period. Portland back with him, too. Anthony had really struggled with a shot. In fact, was 0 for 7 to start this one. But is it six of his last eight? James for three. Lillard throws it ahead. Anthony's going to get another. And the game is tied once again. Carmelo Anthony was annoyed with that last foul call. His fourth. He's been a little frustrated the way James has gone at him, but now he's taking some revenge. But he's also annoyed at the fact that LeBron was having his way. When you got greatness on the floor, the competitive juice that says, I'm not just going to stand here and take punches. Anthony Davis with the jump shot. He's out in double figures now. Anthony's taken over the scoring here in his third period. 11 points already, whereas Lillard and McCollum have yet to score here in the third. Against LeBron James drives. He thought he was fouled. James kicks it out in the corner. Caldwell Polk for three. Puts it in. Contavious Caldwell Polk has hit three three-pointers here in this third period. The one thing I don't understand about players when they turn it over and they're upset, why they trot back and put their teams at a disadvantage in transition. It just cost them a three. 
Yeah. James does the same thing. I don't get it. Run back. He was arguing that there should have been a call and did not get back in time. Feeling it here in the third. Not that time. Tipped out by McGee. Anthony Davis goes at Nurkic. Layup won't go. Fight for the rebound. Caldwell Pope gets it back. Lost it. Portland ball. The layup game called against the Lakers. The ball gets knocked free. Foul or not? Run back. It's five on four with a great handler and decision maker in James. You just put your team at a disadvantage. You have to manage your frustration. Lillard lost it momentarily. Well, Pope putting on some good pressure. James looking to double team, get it out of Lillard's hands. He's tied up, five on the shot clock. McCollum. Pounded by Danny Green. Gets in the paint. Lefty layup is up and good. What well, a well, beautiful move making something out of nothing for C.J. McCollum. And the hesitation at the end, looking like he was going to spin, freezes LeBron. Creates opportunity with the left hand finish. McCollum with the steal. That's LeBron James' sixth turnover. Miller back to Anthony. Anthony the hot hand here in the third. Got it. as the Blazers are back within one. Shout out to Diego Chaco. Salamat sa pag-follow ka, Chaco. Caruso back in the game, drives and easily scores. Anthony Simons has also come in for Portland. In the game. Sticks here in the third one. He missed the seven shots. He's got a white side. Anthony Davis coming up. He's in the game. Amel himself delivers the pass. This is an opening. Goes inside and the foul.
Aggressive move from Davis, who's had a quiet offensive night. And he puts the Lakers back up by three. Putting Caruso and Anthony Davis in the pick and roll. Caruso sets the screen. Late rotation and the previous play. Anthony with a beautiful left-hand pass to Whiteside. Barry Trent, his third foul. Anthony getting a breather. He's played 29 minutes already, 18 points. And again, 13 of them here in this quarter on 6-6 six of six on the field. And that's a tough decision by Terry Stotts. Do you keep him in Carmelo Anthony because he's on a roll or do you take him out because they have taken out LeBron James and you want to match minutes? Those are the hard decisions. Lillard, step back. Ball tipped and taken by Marquis Morris. Throws it ahead to Kuzma. Kuzma gets inside. Spins. Kuzma going with the spectacular finish. Unable to get the basket, though, but gets the contact. Trying to get an H and Simons in the game four. <laughs> Simons. Four hours and 40 minutes. The playoffs, where everything is up for... No pressure or anything. Just cementing your place in history. <laughs> You're pros. You'll be fine. It's a whole new game. Lakers have now taken 37 free throws to just eight by four. And I can't wait to watch tomorrow, see if Denver responds or lays down. Zonia taken away by Caruso. Caldwell Pope. That's three point on go. Anthony Davis taps it, throws it down again. Davis coming alive, and Terry Stotts needs a timeout. Lakers with their largest lead of the game. And the energy, effort, and enthusiasm of this group grasping the basketball game right now. Anthony Davis outworking everybody on the floor. The ability to get the basketball and finish. Job well done by the Lakers bench.
becoming for Dallow in the third. Dix has taken his normal rest and Dix has responded. Well, Damian Lillard has not skipped during this third quarter. McCollum drives, can't put down, down, force. And a reaching foul call on Trent. That's four fouls on Trent. As I'm watching the game, I'm just, I just got to acknowledge these guys. When looking at the names on the back of the jerseys, the, the statements and the stances that each one of these guys have embraced, this is a powerful, powerful statement collectively by the, by the NBA. The jerseys with the social justice messages, some in different languages for the players from different countries as Alex Caruso rattles in the three-pointer. Grew up 89 78. Then each was the largest lead by either team. Lillard is fouled. You know, Mark, what you said about that, all for the players, it's all about continuing the conversation. So many of the players are feeling that there's a turning point in history right now, that there's real momentum for real change to happen. And, and yes, they're, they're all competing for a championship, but their fight to defeat racism is still a big part of why they're here, and, and they just want people to listen. I'm tired of that cliche, keeping the conversation going. How about action? Amen. James right now on the bench, 31 points, 7 rebounds, 6 assists. Lillard is now 6 of 6 from the free throw line tonight, and since the restart, He's 106 for 115. And this is an incredible free throw shooting. Caruso drives, layup on go. McCollum the rebound. And Gary Trent couldn't hold the pass. Of course, Lillard did miss those two free throws in that one loss in the seeding games. And that's when he bounced back the next day with one of the most incredible performances of his career, the 61-point game. That was a welcome sight when he missed those free throws. Shockingly, guess what he did? He owned the fact that he fell short. Kuzma, ball well pulled. Morris knocked out of bounds by his own. He's six to shoot, 147 remaining in the third. The momentum has turned here in the third quarter. zoning underneath that of bounds. They got Kuzma a good look earlier in the game. Quick inbounds. Blazers not ready for that. Same sort of movement they had in the first half that got Marquise Morris that short jump shot. Zonia, corner three. First half. I tell you what, Caruso has given him solid minutes on both sides of the floor. Davis steps back, knocks down another. Anthony Davis now with 17 points, 11 of them here in the third. You're defending an elite player. It's not going to get it done defending him for 24 minutes. It's a 48-minute ball game that you have to give your undivided attention to special talent. Lillard's going to go to the line again. One-on-one -on -one play. Everybody out of the way. Takes advantage of his matchup. Knocks down the jumper against Nurk. Fouls on Caruso, his second. Davis said he was really down on himself after game one. He had 28 points because he... Took 17 free throws, but obviously didn't play well. 8 of 24 from the field. LeBron James reminded him it's only one game. As Lillard hits the first free throw. Here 
Carmel Anthony coming back into this ball game. You got to make sure you don't pick up a cheap foul. With four fouls, no LeBron on the floor. Be smart defensively. Willard continues to be automatic. Eight for eight. Ten point game, final minute, third quarter. Caruso gets Nurkic up in the air. Morris straight on three misses. Rebound deflected back out to Davis. And there's 14 on the shot clock. Caldwell Polk drives. Stripped by Carmelo Anthony. Ball still loose. Picked up by McCollum. Damian Lillard step back. Three pointers up. It's good. Damian Lillard. From downtown, and it's back to seven. He's got 27 points. That's his fifth three-pointer. That was a tough shot, too. Lakers have scored 40 points here in this third period. Shot clock, game clock. No fast to give. Anthony Davis for three. And that will end the third. Portland led by four at halftime. But LeBron James, Anthony Davis, and Caldwell Polk came out strong in the third period as Kuzma's slow to get up. We head to the fourth quarter.